All right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined from South Dakota by Christopher Hamsey. How are you doing, Christopher? Fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great too. And Christopher is the founder of T-Launch, which is the leading print-on-demand fulfillment company. And uh, and what is interesting, Christopher, when I was looking at uh, your website, you said uh, when you have what is T-Launch, you said explaining what we do is hard. So go ahead, explain it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, at the, the simplest form, you know, we uh, we, we produce, you know items you can sell in your store but we do a lot more than that because kind of it's a it's a melting of technology and physical fulfillment so basically we have uh an application that works for shopify and etsy and you can create products in your store and then once the customer buys those products from you it goes to us we print it ship it send it to, send it to your customer uh, so basically uh so basically i could set up a uh, i can set up a store but you do pretty much everything else correct yeah uh, and uh, and so and so um, this is, a, you know, it's people setting up their own stores and that has become more, more popular. But so what makes you different from the other people who offer services that sound similar to what you do? Sure, sure. Yeah, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of competitors, but we really take the, the time to understand our customer. Like today, I was, I've talked to five different uh, of our customers this morning, just trying to really understand how they use the app, what they need, um, what we can do better. And so we really just try to have a, uh, a really good connection with our customers and, and build products and uh, software that really meets their needs. Yeah, so tell me, uh, uh, maybe give me an example of, of some of your customers, because I presume they, they run the gamut, but uh, what are some of the different types of customers you have and what do they do? Yeah, it's crazy. So it really, it's 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 broad range. So uh, like, for example, this morning I talked to, there's a lot of retired people that, you know, they're in their uh, they're either too sick to, you know, do a normal job, or they retired from their their career, and they're just looking for something to do. And so they, uh, it's crazy how. And I got an 81 year old man that I talked to yesterday that spends eight hours a day researching products, learning SEO. Like it's it's really it's really crazy. Or you have, you know, a lot of mothers because obviously, uh, you know, paying for childcare, even if you had a real job, it's it's mm -hmm. not going to be not going to keep much. Versus if you have something like this, where you can sit at home, babysit your kid while you're still working. Uh, it's super, super beneficial. Uh, a lot of students. So, you know, you're going through school, you're trying to figure out, okay, I'm a design student, trying to figure out how to get some, you know, pizza and beer money. Uh, those kind of people, there's some like more traditional marketers that, um, you know, they've figured out how Facebook works and they figured out, okay, I can sell, you know, uh, you know, different affiliate products or crypto or, and they kind of just stumbled into selling, you know, t-shirts and, and mugs and that kind of stuff. But it's, it's really like, and I was pretty shocked because we had a new initiative where we're, Kind of trying to interview a lot of our customers and really figure out who they are. I didn't realize how broad a range of of people we had with you know varying backgrounds and and goals. So. Yeah, and, uh, and so, so to somebody listening who says, "Okay, well, this sounds this sounds really easy." Then if somebody's going to do all the work for me, but you you still there is still some work to be done by the person who owns the or who's setting up the shop in the first place, right? Correct. Yeah, we take a lot of the the workflow and the back end work out of it, but you still have to you know, figure out what people want. You still have to make the design. You still have to market it, you know, do customer service. So again, it's it's not um, effortless, but we've taken a lot of the hard pieces that we're, we're trying to do is to take out the blockers. Like a lot of people would not have the money um, to buy, you know, a product to keep it in stock. But we kind of like, we, we simplify that end of it. But yeah, you really have to know, which it, it, that even isn't that daunting because, you know, I think when people realize you have a big network yourself, you know, your friends, your family, like if you start with those people first, uh, it's a much easier chance of making some sales because they're people that know and love you versus you trying to go out and, you know, advertise on Facebook day one. It's, it's a much harder thing. So. No, no, absolutely. And I guess one of the other things is um, a, a lot of people got into things like drop shipping and all of that over the last while, but then they realized that uh, unfortunately the downsides of that was that you had to deal with returns and cost and all of that kind of stuff. So people thought, Oh, wow, this is easy. I outsource everything until all these products suddenly start coming back to you. And you're obviously dealing, you're obviously mitigating that yourselves. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for us, although we are drop shipping, it's, it's a bit, it's not as, uh, doesn't have as many issues because obviously if you're getting stuff direct from China, it's stuff that has more of a mechanical functional thing. Uh, there's a lot of issues there, but we're selling, you know, uh, you know, t-shirts, mugs, that kind of stuff. There's very few 
issues with returns and that kind of stuff. So yeah. And then um, how, how much has print on demand uh, progressed over the last number of years and the, the turnaround times and to be able to do it effect, you know, do small runs, uh, you know, cost effectively? Yeah, it's really it's it's accelerated at a, an exponential rate. So we started this business uh, over almost eight years ago. And at that time, there was maybe five big facilities that did print on demand. And now there's 50, 60 facilities because the the business model, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's evolved and the technology has gotten a lot better. And there's it's, it's really, again, it'll never replace traditional manufacturing, uh, mm -hmm. but you're going to see it more and more um, in the world because of just the advances in the technology. And then also the um, the customer's uh, appetites have changed. You know, before it's like, okay, I go to Hallmark and get a mug that says, I love my mom. And that used to be good enough. And now they want, has to be, I want my Nana, I want my Yaya, yeah, like whatever it is, they want that specific personalized meaningful thing. And so the old way of producing is not uh, quick enough for this type of consumer. And how fast is uh, is, is turnaround? I mean, if you're, uh, you know, print on demand now, uh, how, how fast can you turn around products for your customers? We talk about three to five days, but it really depends. Like, for example, you know, if you play something on a on a Thursday, it's probably sure. getting out by Friday. So, but yeah, it's definitely, um, it's, it's definitely increased because the the speed in which the equipment works, the logistics, everything has just gotten better over the years. So it's definitely, uh, it's not like it was, you know, back seven years ago. So. Mm -hmm. And so um, what is your advice to somebody who's who's listening to this, who's thinking about setting up a business? What are some of the things that they need to figure out themselves before they just jump head first in? Yeah, first off, don't spend money in ads until you understand your customer. Because unfortunately, mm -hmm. a lot of guys will buy a course or they'll hire a guru and he'll say, hey, just you know, spend twenty dollars a day and you're going to make money. And it's like it, within a month, you just spend six hundred bucks that you don't have, you know, or you don't mm -hmm. know, really understand the customer. So understand your customer first. I tell people experiment on your friends and family because they're much they're going to give you honest feedback, number one. And number two is then it's free. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. sit there and spend ads. Um, we tell a lot of people, if you want to start slow, start on Etsy. So Etsy, they take care of all of the, uh, you know, taxes and all that stuff. So there's a lot less kind of setup and, and learning curve. Once you get more familiar with it, then you can move to Shopify and, you know, have your own store and, and give you a little bit more flexibility, but definitely go slow. Cause I, the biggest problem in our industry is people giving up too quickly. You know, they have this idea, they spend a month, I didn't make any money. I'm going to give up. And it takes a while, but the guys who stick with it, you know, I know a lot of customers that spend a year making almost nothing and then keep going at, keep going at it. And something hits, you know, they put a Trump mug or something that they, it was one of those things that, you know, you never would have known would have went viral. Mm -hmm. And now you just, that, that one month, you know, just made your whole five years, you know? Right, right. Yeah. So, and I think that that is, that's great advice is, is to go slow and really understand uh, what you're doing. And I think the expectations too, because I think, because uh, that happens a lot anyway, regardless of whether it's this business or any other business that people set up is sometimes, they just have unrealistic expectations about how quickly it's going to take off. Because let's face it, it always takes longer than we expect, unless you, you know, get a lucky punch like that. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. And then, and then, how do you help people? Uh, so if they do, if they do work with you, do you set it up? And then, you know, maybe they hit a motivation bump, or maybe whatever things aren't working the way they thought. I mean, how do you do? You offer advice or counseling to those people? Yeah, anybody who reaches out, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Like this, like I said, today I've had five calls alone and and most of it was basically just I'm stuck or, you know, I'm depressed. Like, what do I do? And obviously I don't have any magic bullets. I mean, I don't know if I knew how to sell, you know, a million mugs a day on, on Etsy, I'd, I'd be doing it. But uh, I do know something about uh, kind of bump on bumps on the head, you know, because when we started this business for the first two years, we spent you know almost a million dollars and made nothing. Um, right. And then, you know, luckily everything kind of stars aligned and the app took off and things went okay, but um, it's definitely about uh, the right mindset and, and, and expectations. Cause again, like I'm not saying you're going to become rich overnight, but if you want to, if your goal is to make, you know, 500 bucks a month, that's, that's totally reasonable. And we have thousands of people doing it. So you kind of just have to set the right expectation yeah. and, and go into it with the right, uh, the right mindset. So. so explain, explain how the, how your technology works, um, you know, for the, for the person who's going to, who may be considering uh, working with you. Yeah. So you, you go to our, you know, our, uh, our website and make an account. And then basically what happens is you make a design. So you say, okay, I'm going to make a mug design. You figure out what the dimensions are that you need to give us. Uh, you upload the file. Our app will go ahead and make the mock-up. So the mock-up is the kind of graphical representation of what it should look like, uh, which is pretty, ours are, are very, very lifelike. So it's pretty spot on. 
And then that our application will go and put that product in your store, either Shopify or Etsy. And then when a customer goes and buys it, so you, you open your store up, someone says, buys this mug, it communicates with our, our app and says, hey, this person bought this mug, here's the design, here's the address, and then we go make it, ship it, and then we give the tracking number back to the store. So really, once you've once you've made the product in our app, uh, it's completely automated from that point on. Oh, that's that's fantastic, and uh, and and so uh, and so, what are some of the big success stories that you've had? Yeah, that's crazy. So like some of these things, like oh man, this would have been almost six years ago. I uh, had a gentleman that made a, a shirt that said Murray Christmas, you know, built with the faith <laughs> of Bill Murray and sold just thousands and thousands of these shirts. Like, it's crazy how when something hits and you don't even know it, you're basically, because in this right. business, you're kind of throwing out darts and you see what mm-hmm. happens. Or a lot of people that did really well with, with Trump kind of theme merchandise. And it's just, you never know. Because again, once somebody gets a hold of it and starts sharing it and uh, it just, it can go utterly insane. And so that's why I tell people like at the end of the day, if you do anything, just make products because I don't, you know, right. even if you don't necessarily market it, uh, people have a way of finding things. Um, and you just have to just, if you don't make it, they're not going to find it. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. There's been some, some instances where, yeah, someone literally sold nothing for a year and they had some product in the store and someone picked it up on Reddit or, or Buzzfeed or something. And, uh, we've sold, I mean, one mug alone, I know we sold 50,000 units of it in a month. Wow. Wow. That's because fantastic. Talked about it, you know? And and so that's the point then you're, you make there that uh, you can create and design as many products as 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 you want or uh, as you see fit, but you don't have to obviously until somebody buys them they don't get fulfilled right so that there's not there's not a warehouse full of all these unsold Correct. items out there so there's kind of really nothing stopping you experimenting. Exactly, it's really just your time. I mean, obviously, if you're hiring a designer, you know, there's a hard cost there. But if you're doing it yourself, which a lot of people, you'd be surprised. Like my mother retired from teaching two years ago and never used Photoshop, never used Etsy, never sold anything in her life. And she taught herself Photoshop and taught herself Etsy. And, you know, she sold, you know, tens of thousands of dollars last year on Etsy. So anybody can do it. And again, you don't have to be a a prolific designer. Like most of the stuff is black text on a white mug. And that's good enough for most people. So yeah. Yeah. And you think about it. I mean, once, I mean, the barriers to entry have come down so much in every area. I mean, you think of like, yeah, you talk in Photoshop, but you think about Canva, right? I mean, yeah. Canva uh-huh. probably put a ton of um, designers out of business, but, um, but there's, <laughs> there's so many, I mean, if you have any kind of eye yourself or creative eye yourself, even if you don't have proficiency and there, there's technologies out there that can help you and, you know, pretty, pretty quickly uh, too. And there seems to be, I mean, I mean, tell me this, uh, Christopher. I mean, there seems to be a real, um, as you mentioned earlier, but a real desire for you know different and unusual and just kind of you know these kind of uh, tchotchkes and stuff, t-shirts that say funny things or mugs that say funny things. Like people, people just seem to have an insatiable appetite for this stuff. They really do. It's really like it's eye-opening how the old kind of paradigm of you know guys in suits saying I could I could under, I could guess what somebody wants and then wait six months from China and put it on a shelf and actually sell stuff like that whole thing doesn't work because things move so quickly. Like um, I was thinking back to remember uh, Harambe, the, the yeah. Ape. Okay. That thing, it was only a week of intensity, but we sold tens of thousands of things with his face on it. So there's things that just pop up and down. There'd be no way for any other traditional manufacturing or traditional retailer to capture that kind of hysteria but we've, you know, on the, we're on the edge of it and we can, we can definitely take advantage of those trends. So. Yeah, no, no, ab- absolutely. And then, um, and, and your, your products are fulfilled where and shipped from where? So all over the place. So, you know, we have our own, own facilities yeah. in South Dakota and Utah. And then we have another part, uh, partner facilities, another about 22 uh, all over the U S and Canada and UK and all, all over the place. All over the world. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and tell me, and, and how is your, your business been growing? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously last year, you know, when people kind of went uh, offline instead of in person, it went, it was, you know, quite up and it was good that last year, not necessarily the sales increase it was just the, the desire for people to look uh, kind of outside of their normal, uh, you know, basically, you know, people before is like, I have a job that's good enough. And now like, you know what, that job could either be, uh, you know, go away or get uh, cut. Uh, I need something, not necessarily, I'm not saying you can replace your income, overnight, sure. but it gives mm-hmm. you options. And so it's in a lot of people, just thousands of people that are just looking for 
how do I make, you know, extra 200 bucks? And that's, and we love those people because that is a, it's a fun place to be this, like when the light bulb goes off of like, I've never want to start a business, but now I do. And now I'm going to figure out what's unique about me and my circle of friends. And like, anyway, it's, it's really, it was, it's quite euphoric to find all these people that kind of start that journey at the same time and then help them become successful. And just uh, tell me what what is the what is what is one of the maybe funniest or most unusual products that you've seen somebody or design somebody's come up with? It doesn't even have to be the most successful, but just something that kind of struck you as well. That's clever. Oh man, um, and so many of them. I mean, the Harambe stuff sticks out because it's like this was a a non incident, but for some reason <laughs> everybody decided that you know put his face on it and then put some silly phrase under it and it just worked and, it, and at the time I don't I don't I don't remember seeing a story and then I see all these mugs and t-shirts coming through I'm like what the heck is this and it was just like it's crazy how these things just pop up and pop down and you don't even almost the world wouldn't even recognize it but obviously since I look at you know what we sell it's just it's crazy the stuff that people can uh can think of like who would think to put that on a shirt and then secondly, who would buy it in that kind of quantity? And so, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nuts. So. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, this, this has been great, Christopher. So, um, I mean, it sounds like this is a pretty easy thing for people to experiment with. I mean, there's no, there's no massive overhead for you to just dip your toe in the water, right? Yeah, there's no cost. So basically, tea launch is free. And then again, if you're, um, you know, utilizing all the free resources that, that exist on the internet for designing that, it wouldn't cost you anything. So it's just your time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, listen, all of Christopher's information is going to be below this video. But before we go, Christopher, anything else we missed out on? Anything else you want to tell people? No, just uh, basically just just try. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I tell people just kind of just uh, don't give up and just create products. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I mean, this is just it sounds such a great, uh, such such a great uh, uh, product you have going here, and great way of people to do something that's that's fun and exciting. And who knows, you know, you might make some money on it. You might make some pocket money, but you'll probably have a good time doing it. Yeah, exactly. All right, listen. Thanks again, Christopher. My name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine Pipeliner CRM. See you all for another interview really soon. Thank you. Yeah.